Hi, so in the last video we found that the resultant force acting on this bolt was equal to the value of 12,830 newtons. Um, so that means we've now solved uh, part C on this question and we've also done B previously. The next thing is to calculate the size of bolts required if the allowable shear stress in the bolt is 190 megapascals. So the relationship that we'll use here is that um, the shear stress is equal to uh, the shear force divided by the area in shear. Um, now if we're trying to find out the, um, the diameter of a particular bolt, um, well, uh, there's a relationship between the area of a, of a bolt and that is, um, and the diameter, so that's pi uh, d to the uh, d squared divided by 4. Um, you might have used pi r squared, um, both of these are equivalent um, equations. Okay, uh, so we're told that this value here is 190 uh, megapascals, so times 10 to the 6 pascals. Um, the shear force we've calculated, so 1, 2, 8, 3, 0 newtons. And the area in shear, um, we've got an equation for, so pi um, over 4 uh, d squared. Okay, so um, we can rearrange this equation. Um, let's just drop the units for now. Um, but because we've got pascals and newtons, our value of d is going to be in meters. Um, so we'll bring uh, this up to the left-hand side. So pi over 4 d squared equal to 12830 divided by 190 times 10 to the 6, and then we can make d by itself. Okay, and so we'll calculate this value here. So 12830 divided by 190 uh, to the power of 6 times 4 and divided by pi and then the square root of that number. Alright, and so from this we get uh, 0 0.00927, so that's uh, about 9.3 millimeters. Uh, you can't really buy bolts um, in, um, in 0.3 of a millimeter, um, so what we'll do is we can round this up to uh, the next standard size, and so um, we'll pick uh, D equal to uh, 10 millimeters uh, for the bolt that we're going to use. All right, uh, so that concludes this question. Hopefully this has been uh, helpful for you. If you've got any questions, uh, please do include them at the bottom of the, um, the video in the comments section. And if you've got um, those questions, I'll try to help as soon as I can. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.